Hi there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I am really excited to have you here with me. This is part two of my Beauty Workhorses video and this is part of a tag and I've seen several other YouTubers doing it. First, I saw Mary Ellen do it of Mary Ellen After 60 and there she is. She's a beautiful over 60 YouTuber, just like me. A lot of us are getting up in the 60 plus range. Also, Melissa55 did it and she's also over 60 now. In fact, I think she's 65. Melissa, I hope I did not get your age wrong, but OMG, you look wonderful. And Kathy's Beauty Care Chats offered a tag to people that wanted to jump on. And so I decided to do the tag after seeing Kathy's video. And Kathy is a beautiful blonde, very classy looking lady and has great makeup ideas. She's got a ton of makeup and knows how to apply it. She's also extremely good with hair care. So you might go visit all three of those ladies' channels and I'll link them below in the comment section. In just a few oh. moments, I'll get into my makeup workhorses, but first I wanted to give you a clothing workhorse because for me, Thread Up is kind of where I live in terms of getting clothes. I got this top from Thread Up. You can't really see the whole thing, but I just thought it was kind of sparkly and nice. I love the pink color, and I think it was around $10. And that is the wonderful thing about Thread Up to me. It is gently used clothes, and you can put in there when you're searching for clothes, you can put in the brands you're looking for, you can put in new with tags or appear as new, and that's what I always do and the clothing is very reasonable you can easily send it back and below the video I do have a $10 off code on your first purchase at thread up you'll get $10 off your first order and I'll get a $10 credit so if you're curious about thread up you might give it a try it is definitely my clothing workhorse okay let's get into some makeup workhorses and these are the makeup products that I pretty much use every single day and definitely this one is one of my all-time favorites and if you've been around my channel for a while, you know that I have worn this on and off, mostly on for years. And maybe for the past six months, it is my daily foundation. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. It is oil-free and it says 14 hour wear. And I really like that because it wears a very long time and it looks very natural to me. In fact, I had another couple of foundations that I also used, but in time I realized that this is the only one of all of those that not only wears well, it gives me great coverage and it looks very natural. Okay, the next two workhorses that I have are very inexpensive and you can tell by how grubby they are that they really are workhorses. I use the heck out of them. The first one is this Profusion Cosmetics Chocolates Palette. It has 21 different eyeshadows and a brush, all for like $10. It's amazing. And I'll tell you the colors that I have on now. And as you can tell, I'm hitting pan here. This really is my workhorse. I use this color on my lids called Illusion. I use these two light colors here under my brow to give me a little highlight there. And then underneath my lower lashes, I use this little brown color called Adventurous. And I wasn't going to put this in there because I mentioned it in another video, but when I think of makeup workhorses, this is my go-to every day. Absolutely love this palette. To me, it is equal to or even better than high-end palettes that I've used. And I probably have 75 eyeshadow palettes. This is an absolutely great one and very reasonable. And on my cheeks, I have this color in their eye and cheek palette. This is the Profusion Eye and Cheek Palette. And it is this color here and it is called Lush Blush. And as you can see, it is a very, very natural peachy color. And I just think it is quite lovely. Oh, I really wanna put more of it on, but I don't have my blush brush here. And sometimes when I do that in a video, I end up being sorry. So maybe I should not do that. Wipe that off a little bit. But anyway, I think that color is just beautiful. And I like these pinks over here. But to me, if you really want a natural blush, always go for the peaches. And this is a great one. Now I have three more eye workhorses here, and these are my all-time favorites. This is a brow pencil from Cure called Arch Nemesis, and I must love it because I bought like three ahead. But here it is, and see that little brown color there? I'll go ahead and show you how it looks. And there it is. It's just a very, very natural brow color. It is what I have on right now. These tails are actually the pure Arch Nemesis brow pencil because I don't have good tails at all, but this is very natural looking and it wears all day. Now in terms of eyeliner, I have been using these pure on point eyeliners for probably the last year. And again, I am buying them ahead. I absolutely love them. 
They have a purple one actually that I think looks good with brown eyes called Rain and I do wear that one. But I mostly wear this brown one and it is called Down to Earth. And here it is. The thing I like about it is it's an automatically sharpened point and I will never buy an eyeliner in the future that does not have an automatic point. There is that color and you can see it is the one that I have on my eyes right now. I really love these pure on point eyeliners because they are self sharpening. They draw an absolutely beautiful flawless line and they truly last all day. Great eyeliner. Now my last eye product is something you've seen before but it is a workhorse. This is the Wow Mascara by Colab Beauty and this is a Sally Beauty brand and the only thing I don't like about this is it is often out of stock at Sally's so it's difficult to come by but it is what I have on my eyes right now and it basically says it has five effects. I'm not sure what they are, but I'm sure it's lengthening, darkening, curling. It really does it all. If you want kind of a false eyelash look, this is a great one. Although I do have to tell you that I do have on false lashes right now, but I get almost the same look from this Collab Wow Effect Mascara. Now my last two makeup workhorses are actually on my lips right now. The first is the lipstick I'm wearing and it's the L'Oreal Color Riche Lipstick in 800 Ferris Nude. And I believe this may be kind of a new color because I was in Walmart and I had not seen it before and I picked it up. I'll go ahead and put it on again, but it is beautiful. It is an absolutely gorgeous nude color. To me, it's the absolute perfect lip color if you have a medium skin tone as I do. It's a medium nude color with just a little bit of rose in it and I think it would look good on a lot of different skin tones. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the color Iconic Nude. And here it is. And as you can see, it kind of matches the inside color of my mouth. And that's how to find a really good lip liner that will look good with a lot of your different lipsticks is to kind of match the lip liner to the color of the inside of your lips. And I think this does very well. Okay, let me show this to you. And my hands are peeling. I'm trying some skincare that is peeling my hands, so that looks a little weird. Here is a look at that iconic nude and it's a brownish nude with a little bit of rose in it. Absolutely beautiful and it is definitely one of my workhorse lip liners. Well, that was a look at some of my makeup workhorses and you may wonder why all of a sudden my hair is different and if you look closely, my makeup is a little bit different and my nails are different. And the reason for the change in hair and nails is that as I was editing the video, I realized that I had left out one of the most important products, one of the products I absolutely love and I just started to go ahead and air the video without it. And then I realized, no, if I'm truly giving you my absolute favorite beauty workhorses, the Sleep and Glow pillow has to be in there. Because unlike makeup and then hair products that I'll be showing you in a few minutes, and by the way, my hair is different today. And I have to admit, ladies, you all want me to curl my hair. And it worked out really well today. I was going to go ahead and put it in the little buff, which I'll actually be showing you the little comb that does that in the next little segment but I didn't do that because today I had a really good hair day and ladies just between you and me that's the problem with my hair I'm just not really very good at doing my hair and if I could make it look like this every day I think it would be a big improvement over the little buff and the long straight stuff and so in the comment section below the video please give me your vote on this hair or the buff hair so anyway enough of my hair you've learned yet another kind of failing that I have and that is that I'm not very good with my hair but I am good with my skin, I have to admit, and this Sleep and Glow pillow is one of the main reasons why. And I am 62 years old, and I think there are a couple of reasons that my skin looks pretty good at this age, one of which is that I have avoided the sun like the plague, and coming up in the next few weeks, you're going to see a video on how to look younger, and I'll give you all my advanced sun avoidance tips. But another thing that I really think has helped my skin really look good is that for the past three years that I've been on YouTube, I have been a back sleeper. And I'm going to link the video below that gives you more information about the Sleeping Glow Pillow because it is amazing. And for the first three years I was on YouTube, I used a wedge pillow and you can go see that video, but it was very ugly. It was very bulky. It was like three and a half feet tall and it stood in the corner of my bedroom for three years. But the Sleep and Glow Pillow people sent me this pillow free. And as I always tell people that send me free things, yes, I will try it out. And if I like it, I will share it with my viewers. And if I don't, you just won't see it on my channel. But amazingly, I got this pillow in the mail maybe about two months ago, somewhere in there, maybe three. And from the very first time I pulled it out of the box, 
I absolutely loved it and I got rid of the wedge. I had no more nights on that wedge at all and every single night has been on the Sleeping Glow pillow because one of the absolute best things we can do for our skin is not press it into bad wrinkles. There are a couple of different types of wrinkles. One is expression lines like these. You're going to get them if you smile, which we can't avoid those. And the second is lines we get from baking ourselves in the sun. And the third is lines we get when we do things to our faces like this. And for those of you side sleepers especially, look how your face is really looking. You're getting under eye lines, you're getting fine lines and wrinkles, you're getting a deeper nasal fold there, all from sleeping on your side. And the thing that I particularly love about this pillow is it is great if you're a back sleeper. It has a little divot here and has a great neck support here, great back of your head support here. But for those of you side sleepers who have never learned to get used to sleeping on your back, this pillow is phenomenal because on both sides of this pillow, there are two cantilevered areas. And I was kind of guilty even on my wedge pillow. Those nights that I would wake up in the middle of the night, which for me happened quite a lot, sometimes I would try to keep sleeping on my back for the rest of the night, but if I was really exhausted and wanted to sleep, the most comfortable position for me was on my side. So here I was again, even on a wedge pillow, pushing my wrinkles into my face as I comfortably slept on my side. Well, the neat thing about this pillow is I can sleep on my back, which I do starting out in the night, I always do, but once in a while I wake up in the middle of the night and I want to be comfortable. And so look at this. Even though I am sleeping on my side, my head is cradled here and here. And even though I'm pressing my face into this pillow, as you can see, there are no wrinkles at all. One side of my face looks exactly like the other. That is why this pillow is so genius. Plus it is made of that wonderful memory foam, which is just so comfortable. You know, I look so forward to getting into bed every night. We usually watch TV first, and when I'm watching TV, I'll put a normal pillow under this and then just prop my head on this, and immediately I am just like bathed in comfort. And then when it comes time to go to bed, I take out that extra pillow, and I just sleep on this pillow because I don't want to be like up in the air like this. I think it's bad on my neck. But this is super, super comfortable. And ladies, as we get to be a little more grown up, Beauty sleep really is beauty sleep for us. We really do need to get our sleep for beauty, but we also don't need to have sleep that presses the fine lines and wrinkles into our face. And if you're interested in learning more, I've linked that video below so you can learn a little bit more about it. And I also have a $10 off code listed below the video. So if you'd like to learn more, just click on that link and check it out for yourself. Okay, now back to regularly scheduled video. And ironically, the next piece of this video is telling you about the little comb that I use to get the buff in my hair. But I have to say, I think that if I could get my hair to look like this every day, that little buff thing might be a thing of the past. I buy these combs from Walmart, and here is what they look like, and as you can see, they are curved. And all you do is you flat iron your hair, flat iron the top, and then take the top part up, and then buff it up that way, kind of buff it up that way, and stick the comb in the back, and the comb just holds that volume in place. It's really, really a simple way to style your hair, easy way to give your hair extra body, and for me, as you can see by my videos for the past three years, this is definitely a workhorse. Okay, this next workhorse is something I'm going to try on the air here for you. And this is the L'Oreal Magic Root Cover-Up. And being over 60, I'm in a continual search for hair thickeners, or at least things that make my hair appear to be thicker. And I ordered this in the blonde color and the medium blonde. And actually the blonde is too light for me because the root cover should be the color of your roots. And you can see here one of the areas that I have. I call this my televangelist hairline. Over the years, my hairline just keeps receding and I am trying some interesting vitamins that I hope in 60 days I'll be able to show you if they work or they don't work. But this is a root cover-up and I'll show you how it works. And, and what I like to do is I like to put my finger down here and just get a little of that. And as you can see, it just kind of, I hope you can see, let me, Add a little more. It just kind of puffed a little color on there just to kind of fill that in a little bit. I really don't want to add any more just in case I screw up my hair because I'm going to a 4th of July party at my parents. They are opening their swimming pool for the first time and so that should be lots of fun. And with everyone sheltering in place, this is the first time that our whole family has kind of come together like that. So it should be lots of fun. 
But anyway, that's a good way to kind of fill in your hairline if you're getting a little thin up there. Now, these next two hair care products are products that I use every time I'm about to blow dry my hair. The first one you have seen for years, and this is the John Frieda Frizz Ease Three Day Straight with Keratin Spray. And this is an absolutely fabulous spray if you like to flat iron your hair. Because basically what you do is on damp hair, just after you've washed it and towel dried it, you just spray this in all over your towel dried hair, and then you blow dry your hair. And then when you use the flat iron on it, it really makes it a lot straighter. It's a lot easier to flat iron. And like the name implies, three days straight, it helps that straightness stay in your hair for multiple days after you shampoo. This is a workhorse that I've literally used for probably 10 or 12 years. Now my next hair workhorse product is this Schwarzkopf Got To Be Volume Maniac Beautifying Mousse. And actually one of you lovely viewers out there recommended this to me. I wish I could remember who it was, but I was using another one of these Schwarzkopf Mousse products. I think it was Got To Be Fat and some YouTuber had raved about it, but when I used it, I was quite underwhelmed. And one of you viewers said, you've got to try this version because it is their stoutest mousse. And she is not kidding. This thing gives huge volume. After I've washed and towel dried my hair, I go ahead and shake it up and I put it here and kind of in this area. And it really does give me incredible volume. This is absolutely the best mousse I have ever used. And I don't think I will ever switch from it. Now, this next product is also a volumizer, but you use this one on dry hair. And I actually was having lunch with a girlfriend maybe about five years ago, and she said, hey, after we eat, can we go over to, I don't remember the name of the beauty place, but can we go over there because I've got this product I'm out of that I have to have. And come to find out, it was this product, the Big Sexy Hair Powder Play. And this is an absolutely fabulous product if you want to get some volume in an area where you would tease your hair. And it's very unusual. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit over here. You just kind of sprinkle it in. It goes on like a powder and then you rub it. And I'll do a little bit on the other side. I'm probably gonna mess up my hair here. Probably should not be doing this because my hair was kind of styled okay. But then you kind of back comb it just a little bit. You don't have to back comb it, but it does help to get that body in there. And then you just kind of lightly brush over it and it gives you volume. And it's really a strange product because it goes on like a powder and then when you're scruffling it in, it feels like it's become a liquid. It's very, very strange. But as you can tell, it really does give you volume. And if you're like me and you tend to have flat hair, this is a great product to try to give you that poof that you're looking for. Okay, here is another workhorse product and it is a Kenra product and I love the Kenra products in general. They are wonderful. And this is their Platinum Dry Texture Spray and I'll show you how this works. And again, my hair is already style. I really don't want to use it, but I'll kind of show you how it works. What you do is you take your hair up like this and you just spray it in there, kind of like that. And then you let it dry because it is wet right now. Just give it a moment to dry. And then when it is dry, you come back in and kind of scrunch it up. And you can kind of brush it out a little bit if you want, but it just gives you that textured kind of tussled, kind of just got out of bed and look this way look. I really, really love this dry texture spray. And it is a product that when you're finished styling your hair and you look in the mirror and you go, gosh, something doesn't quite look right about that. When you go ahead and add in the dry textured spray, usually it helps really perk up your hairstyle and makes it look really good. I love this product. Now, the next product is a hairspray. And again, it's Kenra and this is Fabulous. I have used this for three years and I've never found a hairspray I like better. It's a little bit pricey, but you do get a lot so that doesn't really bother me. This is the Kenra 25 volume spray and it says 13 time winner of the Stylist Choice Awards. I don't know what those awards are, but this is a winner. It is absolutely wonderful. Let me go ahead and kind of spray it on my hair and you can kind of see how it works. Here we go. This one is almost gone. I've already bought a replacement in there. And see, there it is. And you can just kind of puff your hair up and it stays in place. Now there's a Kenra 13 for those of you who want a more moderate hold 
that you don't want your hair to look like it's been glued in place, but I really like the glued in place look. So I absolutely love this Kenra 25 volume spray. And for me, it's a total workhorse product. Now my next two workhorses help me to sleep at night. And actually they literally do. The first is this Puritan's Pride 10 milligram melatonin. And I've tried the one milligram, the three milligram, the five milligram, but this baby puts me to sleep and keeps me to sleep. Absolutely love this. Great workhorse sleep aid. And my next product is a wonderful sleep aid. And I think I got this from Angie of Hot and Flashy. And there she is there. Love you, Angie. And thanks so much for recommending this. This is the z -Quil Nighttime Sleep Aid. It says it's non-habit forming and that you fall asleep fast. And when I remember to take this at night before bed, it does put me to sleep and I sleep all night long for the most part. But when I forget to take it, I'll wake up maybe two o'clock in the morning and I'll be wide awake, start watching YouTube videos, start watching TV. And then I realize you better stop watching TV. You're gonna be exhausted in three hours in the morning. So I go in the bathroom and I take just one of these and I think the dosage is two, but I tried that once and I woke up very groggy in the morning. But when I just take one, it totally puts me to sleep. Within about 15 minutes, I'm asleep. I sleep the whole rest of the night long and I wake up feeling just fine. This is a fabulous product and I am so glad I found it. Now, my last two products help protect you from the sun and these are total workhorse products. And you know, it's so funny. Here, take a look at my arms and people ask me continually, what self tanner do you use? And on my arms, the answer is absolutely no self tanner. I work from home recently. I do sit in front of a bay window, but it's underneath a porch, which is covered. And so no sun is really coming in. And still I get this dark tan and I really don't like it. I think my skin just has a lot of pigment in it because I turn orangey, golden, brown. And some people would think that would be great to look like that without really trying. But to me, any tan really shows sun damage and I really don't like that. And I'm going to be working on more ways in the future to protect my body skin. But one thing I do use now and I've used for like the last couple of years is these little driving gloves. And these are absolutely excellent at keeping the sun off the backs of your hands. And with sheltering in place, I may get out once a day in my car. Actually, it's like maybe around noon, I'm like, let's go to McDonald's and get an iced tea because I am absolutely going crazy in this house. I mean, I don't mind working from home, but every now and then you've just got to get out. So I go and buy an iced tea. But the first thing I do when I get in the car is I put on these driving gloves and I absolutely love them because they totally keep the sun off my hands. And our hands are really one of the first things to show our age. Even if our face looks nice and young, our hands can really tell the truth about what age we really are. And so I'm really trying to protect my hands. These are absolutely wonderful and I got them from Amazon and I'll put the link below. Now my last product is again a sun avoidance product and I try to avoid the sun like the plague and it is a hat. And I have to tell you, I get really tired of people wearing a ball cap and thinking that they're protecting their face because I got news for you. The ball cap maybe shades you down to about here, but all of this real estate down your neck, everything is totally exposed with the ball cap. So to me, guys should wear this to play ball, but women should not wear it for sun protection. So what I do instead, and it is kind of ugly, is I use these big visors and I got these at Kohl's. Here is one that is in a natural color and the other one is in black. And I wear this one more, I would have to say, and I don't want to mess up my hair because I'm actually going to the party this afternoon. But here is a look at that sun visor and it really totally protects your entire face, your neck, even a little bit of your shoulders. This is a great sun visor and I think Kohl's still has it. I will link that one specifically or a similar one from Amazon. If you don't have a hat like this that gives you this much sun coverage, you're really not protected against the sun. Well, that was a look at part two of my beauty workhorse products, the products I use and enjoy every single day or at least pretty much every single day. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging, I hope you'll subscribe. And when you click that bell, you get email notifications of my videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, I hear that helps the video be seen by more viewers and I would really appreciate that. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I've been reading from these Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein. I think I'm due to get a new card deck. It seems like I've had them for a long time. Okay, let's choose a card, something positive to think about for the day. Here we go. My eyes will see what I desire. 
My eyes will see what I desire. Oh, friends, I absolutely love this card, and that is so true. I truly believe that when we really want something, when we really desire something, in many cases, when we look around, we're going to find it, because whatever we're thinking about tends to be what we find in life. Oh, friends, this is an absolutely wonderful card, and I really think this is true. My eyes will see what I desire. I think that there is an energy produced by passion and desire. And you know, long ago when I worked for my parents' company, I won't go into all the boring details about what that company was, but I just so much desired for that company to become a big national company, and we would have meetings, and I would share with everyone how little by little we're getting more national, and every day and every way we're getting better and better and better, and I had total passion about that company's growth, and it did grow to become a national company. I think that there is an energy produced by passion and desire that really helps things change, that really helps things happen. So so if you truly want something to happen in your life, increase your level of passion and desire and your eyes may see what you desire. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.